everyone, this is V, and today I'm sharing a layout with you that I've created for the Doodlebug YouTube Hop. And I'm using the collection's special delivery and bundle of joy for this layout. Today I'm also using a cut file from Pear Tree Cut Files called Precious Little One. Now for this layout today, I'm just creating a shaker pocket and I'm attaching some transparency to the top layer. And before filming today, I've glued three layers of little together to cre create a little pocket. And I'll then glue that to the transparency. Now this is something that I like to do when I'm working with a really narrow cut file because it allows me to build up that dimension without having to trim down some foam into really thin strips. Once that's finished, I'm just going to come in with some sequins. I've just created a mix myself with some sequins that I have at home. And I'm just going to glue a piece of paper that I've cut from the 6x6 paper pad to the back of the shaker pocket. Once I've finished with the shaker pocket, I'm just going to add some vellum to the back of the hearts. And I'm doing that today just by gluing them to the vellum and cutting around the edges. This is a nice easy shape to cut around, so I haven't used my offset to cut the hearts this time. And once that's finished, I'm just going to glue the shaker pocket to the top of the cut file. Now just while I'm finishing that off, I'd like to say a big thank you to Erica Rose for organising this YouTube hop and I'll leave links below in the description box to all of the other participants so that you can hop on over and watch their videos as well. I'm now going to start working on my background. I've cut a few strips of paper from the collections and I'm just distressing the edges before adhering them to the background paper which is one of the petite prints. In white. I love working with petite prints and I always have plenty in my stash because the colours match perfectly with all of the Doodlebug collections. Now I've already pre-stitched this layer and I'm just going to distress that as well. Distressing edges on your layout is a great way to add some extra dimension and it's really quick and easy. I'm using a distress tool here but you can just as easily use your scissors. And I've just decided here that I want to mount that main strip up on some foam. and then I'll have the remaining layers flat on the page. Now you can see while I'm applying tape to the back of those layers where I've brought in some of the Bundle of Joy collection. And I love that the collections are so versatile that they work really well together. Now because I've added some dimension behind that blue strip of paper, I'm going to need to add some foam pads behind the title just to lift it up to the same level. And I'm needing to use two layers of foam tabs. Just coming in with the second layer here. Now I've trimmed some of the small foam squares here so that they're small enough to use on that script title. But I have just ordered some of the micro foam squares 
that will hopefully mean that I won't need to do that in the future. Now I've backed my photos on some white cardstock, which is something that I usually do. And then I've used some of the journaling cards from the paper collection to use as a second layer behind my photos. This way I get the perfect colour to match the collection. I'm just trimming those down. And I'm going to use some of these cloud embellishments just so that my photos have the appearance of floating on the clouds. And I'm mounting some of those up on foam and I'll also mount some of the photos on foam as well. Now once I've got my photos positioned where I want them, I'm just going to come in with the embellishments to complete my layout. This has been such a fun project to work on and thanks again to Erica Rose for organising it. I'll leave you at the end with some close-up photos of my layout. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!